Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial and in this one we are going to draw a Palomino pony and this is the fourth study I did and it was done in graphite so I really have this pony in the fingers now and for the setup I will be using uh, the charcoals from this uh, design kit by um, Brown Seal, it's a Sakura kit. Uh, very nice to uh, set up with the charcoal. I'm using this one, and of course, also the white pastel. And uh, it's extra uh, clear for you to see. And what I will be using is uh, the craft paper by Canson, and that's uh, well, a very light brown paper. I start up my setup with a very uh, thin lines in charcoal, as I was saying, and I'm drawing up from the cheek to the ears, and I'm already positioning the eye, which is uh, fry, uh, quite <laughs> high up, and uh, the nose will be seen very clearly because we are uh, having a low perspective so we we are looking up to the horse and he has this uh, great uh, white marking a white light lantern on his head and here you can see how you can look into the nose and also I will be drawing in all those little muscles and markings on the snout itself. Here on top of the left ear you can see the hairs that are going around that ear to give it a lively feel. And this Palomino it's um, uh, kind of an, a halflinger, it's it's a breed, a horse breed, and they have a lot of mane, and they are uh, nice uh, white, while the skin is uh, yellowish, ochreish. So I really wanted to draw this in pastel for you to see. Here I'm adjusting the cheek a little bit. And the nice thing of the low perspective is that you can see the lower lip which is uh, dangling and here you can see the muscles on the cheek and that hard bone that is next to the eye. So really I'm using that charcoal to look for the dark areas and the light areas for my first setup and um, well it's just uh, like when you are watching through the eyelashes of your eyes uh, I'm, I'm quite looking like that and, and searching for those areas and here on the nose there are a lot of muscles and those little wrinkles that are there so I wanted to draw them in and the right eye you can just see so it's a truck car a three-quarter portrait of this horse and I also put in those dark areas inside the ear okay so far the setup with the black charcoal and then it's time to switch over to your white pastel and that white pastel I'm using for uh, the markings, of course, on the head. And uh, blending in with the, the black charcoal. And you can see, <laughs> that's my pencil, you can see it here how nice uh, the, the black charcoal is blending in with the white of the pastel. Now, as I was saying, uh, the eyes are just seeable because there's a lot of mane going over them. So I carefully draw around those mane 
and I've switched here to a dark brown and I'm placing that in between the hairs of the mane for the dark areas that are in between the hairs and uh, that way I get a lively feel and a natural flow of the mane. Furthermore, I'm still uh, now and then looking through the hairs uh, of my eyes. And looking through your eyelashes is really, really helpful to get that feel of uh, where the darkest and the lightest areas are. And from that I'm uh, switching slowly but certainly to a, a lighter color of brown. Here you can see, for instance, the yellow ochre. And that's the, the actual color of the skin of this pony. It's a yellowish ochre, while the mane are uh, whitish. And uh, they really stand out from each other. Again, I'm going into the eye, because I do need some eyelids there. But you can see how carefully I am uh, drawing in between the, the hairs that are going over that eye. Then it's time for a blue pastel. And I've switched to my other drawing kit, it's uh, the Faber Castells. And what is the nice thing about uh, the blue is uh, that it's complementary with the yellow ochre and it really brings out the white in your horse. So combining yellow ochre and blue gives your drawing that, that lively feel. So I apply this here and there and here I'm adding in a little bit more detail because I want all the attention to go to that nose and here I'm picking up my white pastel again and I'm drawing in those really really tiny hairs that are around uh, the nose to give it that, that special and soft feel, like you want to kiss him or something. Okay, let's take another look. And as I was saying, we are kind of laying in the grass and there's this pony trotting along or walking upwards to you and as we are in a very low position like with the belly in the grass I can actually draw in behind a piece of sky so I've placed in a white for a cloud and then I'm picking up that same blue pastel again that I've used in the main to color in a really clear sky with here and there a cloud. Now blue is just blue so to get a little feel of depth, depth in uh, the sky itself I put over it uh, a greenish blue and the cloud itself I temper down a little bit with the brown pastel and also I want that snout to pop out so I'm softly drawing in uh, a little bit of brown around that snout and I've decided to put in a little bit more white into the sky just to temper it down a little bit not to make it too blue but it really really makes uh, the yellow ochre pop out and here I've drawn in some uh, well 
some nice hairs that bounce around in, in the wind for instance uh, just to well make it a little bit more playful so this is my very quick study of the palomino pony and i hope you've enjoyed it and give it a big thumbs up and of course i hope to see you again in one of my other tutorials thank you for watching see you next time bye bye